Meet Jeremy and Sarah. As part of their marriage, they have agreed to live within their means and balance their budget. The holiday season has begun, so Jeremy and Sarah are prepping for holiday shopping. They agree to spend $500 each on holiday gifts. Jeremy goes to the mall and spends all of his cash, but keeps shopping anyways. He charges more gifts to his credit card. Sarah only spends $500 cash. The holidays come and go. Jeremy and Sarah's gifts were a big hit with their families. But in January, Sarah checks the mail and finds a credit card statement. She sees that Jeremy charged $600 worth of gifts to their credit card. Sarah is angry. She confronts Jeremy and asks what happened to their budget. Jeremy is confused because he spent $500 cash and believes he stayed within their balanced budget agreement. Like Jeremy and Sarah, 49 states have balanced budget requirements. Vermont is the only exception. Yet, 40 of those 49 states are deep in debt. For example, in 2018, California claimed that their budget was balanced. Revenues exceeded expenditures in the governor's budget. But the state charged $4 billion worth of retiree health care to their credit card. This added $4 billion to the state's debt. So how can states like California claim a balanced budget while sinking farther into debt? Stay tuned for the second part of this video.